here is three steps to sketch for our basic tangent graph y equals the tangent of 2x. So here's a summary of our three steps. Step one, find the essentials. Step two, plot your key points. Remember that pattern is point, point, asymptote, point. And the third step, sketch and repeat. If you need a refresher of this, check out the method video. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Step one to getting a nice sketch of tangent 2x is to find the essentials. So we'll start by finding a and b. Remember, a is just the coefficient in front of tangent, so it's an understood one in this case, and b is the coefficient of x, so two in this case. All right, and now we can use b to find the period. Remember, to calculate the period of tangent, it's always pi divided by b. So in this case, our period is pi over two. All right, now let's get some scale labels. Remember, we set our horizontal scale by taking the period and dividing it into four pieces. And this will ensure all of our key points fall in line with our horizontal tick marks. So you'll have a nice clean graph. So to divide pi over two by four might seem a little bit intimidating. So instead of dividing by four, try multiplying it by one fourth. This will make things a lot cleaner and you'll see that the scale you want to use for the horizontal axis is just pi over eight. So we will label those tick marks counting by pi over eight. The vertical scale labels, very simple. Just look at your A, take the absolute value of it. In this case, we'll count by ones. All right, and finally, we need to find the asymptotes. So remember that there is a formula we can use for this. We'll use the formula x equals pi over 2b plus pi over b k, where k is an integer. Remember the shorthand for that, k belongs to the set of all integers. All right, so let's just substitute in b. So we have our asymptotes for this particular tangent graph, x equals pi over 2 times 2, so 4, plus pi over 2k where k is an integer. All right, and notice that that means our very first positive asymptote, it would, if we substitute in zero for k, will be at pi over four, and that should be our second tick mark. Another thing to notice as we start to go over to labeling is that our fourth tick mark to the right of the origin should be equal to our period because that's how long our period should be, just the length of one horizontal cycle or four tick marks. All right, so let's go ahead and label. Let's start with our horizontal axis. Let's count by pi over eight, or it might help you to say one pi over eight, two pi over eight, which reduces to pi over four, three pi over eight, four pi over eight, which reduces to pi over two. So that checks out. Our second tick mark is our first positive asymptote, and our fourth tick mark is equal to our period. All right, now let's do the same in the negative direction. So we have negative pi over eight, negative pi over four, negative three pi over eight, and negative pi over two. All right, let's count by ones for our vertical axis, nice and easy, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, so now we're ready to plot our key points. Remember the pattern we talk about is point, point, asymptote, point. It's very simple. It'll be this pattern every single time for these basic tangent graphs. So we start with our first point at zero, zero. Over at the next horizontal tick mark, our x coordinate of our next point will be pi over eight. And the y coordinate will simply be a. So in this case, our point is at pi over eight comma one. All right, so now we're on to the asymptote. And it's very simple. Just move to the next horizontal tick mark and place a dotted vertical line. Your asymptote, like we said in the previous step, is at x equals pi over 4. And our final point in the pattern of key points is at the next horizontal tick mark, so at 3 pi over 8 for the x coordinate. And the y coordinate will simply be the opposite of a, so in this case, negative 1. So we'll place our final point in the pattern at 3 pi over 8, 
comma negative one. So this is the pattern that we use for our tangent graph. And step three is simply to sketch in the curves of the tangent graph and to repeat the pattern. And one thing that'll make this easier is if you go ahead and place the next point that would start your pattern on pi over two comma zero, that'll just help you as you're drawing the curves. So we can see here is one cycle of tangent. We finish it up at that pi over two intercept and we have one cycle of tangent. So that's right here, one cycle of tangent. And we can repeat this. So in that negative part of our grid that's shown, let's start four tick marks away from the origin. So four tick marks to the left, we just repeat our pattern. First point at negative pi over two, zero. Second point at negative three pi over eight, one. So that's like this point right here at pi over eight. Another asymptote. So this is x equals negative pi over four. And then our final point, which is at negative pi over eight comma negative one. And that's like that point at three pi over eight. All right, sketch in the curve. And now you have a second cycle of tangent. So you see, you can repeat this as many times as you need, as many times as you want. And you can even double check this asymptote using the asymptotes equation that we had talked about earlier. All you have to do is let k be a different integer than zero. So let's let it be negative one because we want the next one to the left. So when we do x equals pi over four plus pi over two and we substitute in negative one for k, you see we end up with pi over four minus pi over two. So you simply need to get a common denominator there. So let's rewrite that as two pi over four, and you see that we get the asymptote that we have graphed at x equals negative pi over four. All right, this was three steps to sketch for tangent of two x.